Okay, class. In this video, we are going to talk about the clinical applications of these different properties, as well as the toxicity of the herbal medicine. The clinical ap application of the properties and actions. In this session, we actually try to demonstrate how to apply the herbal medicine using the theory that we have in introduced in these few videos for in terms of the properties, the natures, the meridian tropism. For example, this example we have mentioned before, Huang Qing is cold and bitter, Huang Lian also cold and bitter, Huang Bai also cold and bitter, so cold herbs can clear heat. Bitter herbs can dry dampness. These three herbs are all cold and bitter. So it can be used in the damp heat syndrome. But how to identify, how to choose which one to use? We're going to identify the, the location of the diseases. If the damp heat in upper jaw, such as the coughing, coughing blood or the asthma due to damp heat in the lung, then you will use Huang Qing. If the damp heat accumulates in the middle jaw, for instance in the stomach or intestine, the patient may present with diarrhea or stomach ache or abdominal pain. And in this situation, if due to damp heat, the patient may also present with a red tongue with greasy coating, then you may use Huang Lian. If a patient presents in the lower jaw, such as difficult breathing, sorry, difficult urination or painful urination due to damp heat, then you can use Huang Bai. So that's related to the kidney or bladder. That's because these three herbs. They have different tropism to different levels, different the three jiao, different levels or different meridian. So we might have a very similar question. I remember that when we study the central differentiation, the some student asked me which one should we use when we see a patient? Which which differentiation method? The eight principles. The Zhang Fu organs, the meridian, the six meridian, the Fu Jiao, the four levels. We have studied a lot, but which one should we use? Same as here, we have studied the, the natures, the property, the five flavors, the meridian tropism, according to the Fu Jiao for to the four levels. Which one should we use? These are actually. Same question as the syndrome differentiation. We cannot separate them completely. We cannot separate them completely. In other words, we cannot answer this question. The reason is the syndrome differentiation, all different kinds of syndrome differentiation, they are actually they integrated to each other. The A principles, the acterial syndrome. The lung syndrome, the Tai Yang syndrome, the upper jaw level, the upper jaw, the, the weight defensive level, these are we all talk about the superficial, the upper body, the lung organ. So these are all related. Again, in this example, when we talk about upper jaw, we use the uh, According to the theory jiao, we say Huang Qing upper jiao. If you said we use the Zhang Fu organs, we also can say Huang Qing and the lung meridian. So no matter you use the three jiao theory or the Zhang Fu organ or the meridian theory, it all refers to the same area: the middle jiao, the stomach, the lower jiao, the kidney and bladder. So these are actually this, we refer to the same answer, but from a different way. 
Another example for the clinical application is we're going to use the herbs according to the meridian tropism. For example, a patient suffer from or patients suffer from different kinds of headaches. We have Tai Yang headache, Sao Yang headache, Yang Ming headache, Tai Yin, Jue Yin, Sao Yin headaches. All these different kinds of headaches, we can identify these different kinds of headaches according to the area where the patient feels. For example, the migraine. The patient feels on the side of the head, we says Sao Yang headache. The patient feels in front of the forehead, we call it Yang Ming headache. If the patient feels at the back, we call we says Tai Yang headache. The patient feels on top of the head, or if they feel on top of the head only, we says Jue Yin headache. So these different kinds of headache, we're going to use different kinds of herbs. The reason is because these different herbs can enter different meridian. For example, Qiang Huo can be used for Tai Yang headache. Chuan Xiong can be used for Sao Yang headache. Also, because of Chuan Xiong is the chief herb of all headaches, so you can use in all different kinds of herbs, uh, different kinds of headaches. Wu Zhu Yu can enter the Jue Yin meridian, so it can be used in Jue Yin headache. Qi Xin can be used for Sao Yin headache, because it can enter the Sao Yin meridian. So this is to apply the herbal method according to the meridian tropism and also according to the symptoms Huang Qing, Gan Jiang Gan Jiang is the dry ginger slice Zi Su or Su Ye Guo He, these two are leaves Wong, Ku, but they are pungents they enter the lung so you can dispel the wind cold and this bell wind heat because of the cold. The dry ginger, warm or hot, hot is even warmer and lung, so it can be used for the cold condition in the lung, the cold syndrome in the lung, can warm the lung. The cold syndrome in the lung, such as the patient presents with coughing with the perfumes, clear for them. Huang Qing, the cold herb can be used for lung heat, clear, clearing the heat in the lung. For, for example, the patient suffers from sticky yellow phlegm, and then we can use Huang Qing. So these are the examples of the clinical applica application, a combination of different properties, the natures, and the meridian tropism. The next topic we're going to talk about is the toxicity. The toxicity is the degree of to which that the meridian the medicine can damage the body. It is used to reflect how safe the medicine is to use. The toxic medication can injure the Visceral tissue and functional and cause functional impairments, pathological changes, and even death. So we we actually try to avoid or try to control the, tos the toxicity. But we need to remember that the toxicity is not equal to the side effects. We need to avoid the side effects. Sometimes we need to control, but not avoid directly, or not avoid completely for toxicity. The side effects, that's the effect that is not, is undesired, we don't need. For example, a patient suffers from constipation due to cold condition. So this is a cold syndrome. The patient suffers from constipation because of the cold. The cold will slow down everything and then the patient suffers from constipation. We have mentioned that in the previous slides, Tai Huang is a bitter taste, a bitter herb. 
with the taste can purge so it can cause diarrhea so we can use Dai Huang in this constipation because we can because Dai Huang has the function to cause diarrhea as in the meantime Dai Huang is a cold herb cold herb and can lead the heat but remember this patient suffer from a cold syndrome cold condition so we, we are not supposed to use the cold herb because the cold condition will make the, the patient worse so this is considered as a side effect we try to increase the, the effect we need we try to reduce the side effects so how to reduce the side effects you either you choose the other herbs with bitter taste and warm property or hot property that also can cause diarrhea or in a formula if you use Dai Huang you can add Fuzi or dry ginger slice ganjiang to these two are warm so it can balance the coldness so in this situation the coldness can be balanced by these two herbs so you can describe in one formula and then you keep the function of the bitter for the diet for the constipation so that's how to reduce the side effects so this side effect is not toxicity the side effect only refers to something we don't need and we don't want toxicity for example, Fu Zi. Fu Zi has, the, has a component of a conitin. The conitin is the effective component. So, in order to have the to perform the function of Fu Zi, the action of Fu Zi, we need a, a conitin. But the, remember, a quantity is also the toxic component. So in this situation, we need to limit the amount of a quantity. That's how to use food safely. The process, the processing method of the foods is very important. The quality control of foods also very important to limit the quantity to limit the toxic components although this is an uh, effective component so from these two examples you will understand the, the difference between the side, the side effect and the tox toxicity the toxicity may be the side effect and it may not be the side effect in, in this situation the toxicity is not the side effect still the effective components but in order to save to use this herb safely we need to limit the toxic component so that's the difference between the side effects and the toxicity the factors affecting the toxicity the dosage for for example when we use the foods we use a large dose 30 gram 60 gram, 120 gram, 150 gram, even 200 gram. When you increase the dose, when you increase the dose in one formula, you're going to increase the toxicity. So that's very important to have a safe dose, to have a safe dosage in one formula. The correct herbs according to the syndrome. If it's cold syndrome, you use a cold herbs, that's the, the wrong herbs. So that also can cause either side effects or in some even worse situation, it can cause toxicity. The species, the, at the beginning of the general introduction, we have introduced this, the, the different modalities of the Chinese material medita. That's one focus on the species. Uh, cultivation, the growing and the species of the herbal medicine. 
the species is very important. Some species have the toxicity and some they don't. The quality of the herbs also very important. When in future when we talk about the authentic herb the herbs, it's the quality. The processing methods such as the such as the foods we mentioned in the previous slides. The foods, the raw foods and processed foods. In the clinic, we will use the processed foods and also when we cook the decoction, foods must be decoded must be decoded first for half an hour and then you add the other herbal medicine. So the processing method, how to limit the toxicity, how to limit the toxic components in one single herb is very important. The administration method, the compatibility, compatibility we're going to discuss in the in future, this is also very important. How to avoid use the, the herbs that you should not use together, otherwise you will create or enhance or increase the toxicity. So we need to think about the body constitution of the patient. A weak body constitution, you might rather use a low dosage or less of that's to toxic component herbs. Other factors may affect the toxicity, such as overdose, counterfeit medicine, so the fake one, mistakes in the processing methods, mistakes in preparing decoctions, mistakes in diagnosis, etc. So these are the general introduction on the clinical application and the toxicity. Thank you for your attention.